Chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you the game 2 between me and the new chess engine Torch where I sacrificed my queen against him, you can see these tournament games between me and Torch where I win more than 70% of games. When we do the best we can, we never know what miracle is wrought in our life or the life of another, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have c6 Karo can defense and we have causal lines of Karo can, knight c3 and here Torch could take the pawn but he chooses to play Gurjanide's defense, if you are playing against Stockfish then you should immediately resign the game before starting the game, that way your ego can live happily but Torch doesn't play the good opening. He is an arrogant chess engine like Hikaru and Levy bot, he played f6, maybe he wants to re-rotate his knight to control these squares and e6 will be a good choice, rook e1 knight to f7 and I played a4 with the idea of a5 to restricting queen structure and you know what, never compare your life with others, you have no idea what their journey is all about, so Torch played rook e8 a5 e6 bishop, back to f1 and after some moves later. Here Torch played bishop, d7 with the idea of playing b6 or b5 so I strikes in the center with e5, bishop f4 queen d2 and knight a4 to go to the c5 square is my future ideas, we have center exchanges on e5 and he played b6 with the idea of c5. Make peace with your past so it wouldn't screw up the present, so I make peace by closing the position, he tries to open up the b file with c5, what a dumb looking move, the torch chess engine is nothing to me, if I go to the bathroom at night when there is no electricity in my house then I need torch, that's torch's job, not his job to play chess with the chess god stockfish, anyway torch wants to light up his structure by playing c4, so we have rook b1 and he closed the structure with c4. That's a gaint but a 200 elo pawn chain, we have h4 and b5, bishop f4 is coming so he played b5 himself, g3 queen c7 to target this pawn with 1 2 3 pieces, we have bishop f4 queen c8 to target this pawn, rook a1 and I want to play bishop h3 queen d2, knight d4 then rook a5, activating the bishop on this diagonal and targeting to this pawn with two pieces, knight takes pawn may come to seize this diagonal, ok we have rook b8 rook to a3 rook b6, queen a1 and bishop e3 is coming to attack on this diagonal. Bishop c6 bishop e3 to target this rook, if you move back your rook then I will capture this pawn, so we have d4 to target this knight, I take the pawn, takes bishop takes rook, I exchange my two pieces for a rook, pawn takes and I get a clear pass pawn. Be selfish with your time, a lot of people don't deserve it, so after knight e4 he takes the pawn on e5, here any normal person would safe the queen first, for example queen a2 then after takes takes, the position will be equal and the game will be a draw, but in our actual game, I played rook takes f3, sacrificing the queen like nobody can do. He takes the queen, rook takes bishop and I have the rook for a queen only, this is a pass pawn and the bishop will stand there to support him, rook to e8 bishop g2, knight e5 rook to a3 with the idea of a7 and I want to re-rotate my knight like this, to activate my bishop, we have knight c6 a7 queen to a8, try to stop this pawn with two pieces, so knight c3 and this is coming, how do you stop me, I down a queen and you can't stop my one pass pawn, maybe because you didn't subscribe to my youtube channel. Why didn't you subscribe to my youtube channel? Just subscribe it, we have h6 knight takes pawn and, and knight c7 is coming to target the queen, here if you play rook d7, Try to protect that square then I will capture the knight, queen takes bishop and then I will promote my queen, so back to the position, if you play 69 elo move like the Gotham chess 69 elo, then I will move back my knight to push the b pawn to target it with bishop, so if b5 to stop my pawn then I will play rook a6 to target this knight, knight c8 may come but after rook takes c6. The rook is crazy enough to create so many problems for you, so after takes takes, takes, I will promote into a queen and I will totally win the game, you may suffer after losing a chess game, because the root of all suffering is attachments, so back to the position, we have knight takes a7, giving up the queen, I gave up my queen long time ago he accepted that, but now I am completely winning the game. If you are a giver, remember to learn your limits because the takers don't have any,
So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.